day YouTubers and welcome back to Moonshine Vapor and today we're looking at something slightly different a little device for cleaning your coils now I've seen a few videos I've got for coil cleaning never thought about putting one up before because I thought by now a lot of people would have picked up how to clean the coils and make the coils last a bit longer but um, I've just come back from the old sailors in, back in Birmingham PNS old sailors and I've just had some new tools coming for tool for coil cleaning. Sorry, Vap Joy. And this is what you got. Still bristles on the end, and obviously all products are going to have all this on the back end now. Disclaimer. So if you're pregnant and all the rest of it and you know you're not supposed to be vaping and everybody's just protecting themselves basically so this is a disclaimer you get in a lot of devices and you probably see this as well on the um, just a second you probably see this on uh, a lot of the box mods now and so forth that's coming out you're gonna have all this on the back anyway so I've got myself a dirty coil out just to show you how this works. No rocket science involved in it whatsoever. Just slide out the packaging. And that's what you've got. Now what I usually do when I clean my coils, I usually eat the coils up to the red, glowing red. I've got one here. You see how dirty them are. I don't know you've seen dirtier, but that's the dirtiest I've got in my collection at the moment because I was doing some coil cleaning the other day. I've had these coils on this deck now for about probably six weeks. Just turn this on. So this is the process I usually do. I usually fire the, fire the mod up, get them glowing red, run my tap behind me. All I do. If you've got a lot of pressure coming off your tap, it's perfect because what you do then, you just put that underneath a few times and the pressure of the water will take off any residue or sit on the top of your coils. So I'm going to do this one, I'm just going to eat this baby up in front of you a couple of times. Just burn access juice off and just pulsing it gently. As you can see. Burn excess juice off. And what I've done, I've got a little bowl of water in front of me, so I'm just going to swirl that baby in there like that. Make sure you, you haven't got your finger on the trigger, or you're going to be in a whirl of problems. Shake off the excess. Get your core cleaning brush, and just gently. Stroke on top of your coils like so. And you start to see a lot of that gunk is coming off. So like I said, you probably repeat this process three or four times depending on how bad your coils are eat that up again just pulse it and I've got a tub of warm water like I said so I'm just going to just put it back in the tub of warm water there swirling round oh, that shit starts to come off Stroke it again a few times with a brush. You can see that clearly. Not to press harding at all, just be light. Like so, pulse him again. 
I will just turn the device off. Now, pause that baby. Getting nice and red. Back into the water again. Finger off the trigger. Shake him off, wipe off some excess water from around the device. Pulse off again. Couple more strokes of that brush. It's about time to, I've seen a little simple device like this on the market because I haven't seen it up to now, tell you the truth. I don't know if it's down to me not being lucky or whatever, but I've just not seen anything for cleaning your coils. See this little wire brush would be absolutely perfect to maintain your coils with. And so far, as you can see, them coils will come back up nice and new. Two minute job. Pulse that one more time. Back on the water. And the reason why I'm using warm water is Heat your coils up and you put them into cold water. Remember, when you heat the coils up, the metal is going to expand. So if you're directly going to put that into straight the cold water to clean it back off, it could fracture and crack the, the metal in the coil itself. Because don't forget, it's going from one temperature to an extreme temperature, the other end of the scale. And that can cause damage in your coils. So make sure you use warm water to do that process with and then you steam it back off like that so I'm just pulsing it and Clapton's have come back up absolutely sweet absolutely sweet no gunk on that in any shape sense or form like I said you can repeat this process According to, to your cells, according to how the coils are, how bad they are. And just get all that shit out in between the coil. I think that's the good thing about it. The shit that stays in between the coil itself on the spill. This little brush will get right in the gaps of that. And take any of the shit out that's lying in between your coils. There you have it. Not even five minutes on that. And that baby's back up to brand new again, just the way I like it. Pulse it one more time. Glowing evenly. And there you have it. A perfect little device for you. This would probably retail in the shops for no more than probably a fiver, trust me. But for you callers out there, you're allowed to keep your calls in your devices for a long period of time. Because I tend to do that myself. I've got a good setup. Them calls are staying at the device for fucking, it could be in there for months and months and months. And all I usually do, like I said, I just warm up my calls, run them under the tap, blast all the gunk off it. And it'll come back up brand spanking new again. But the key to it, like I said, do not use cold water or you will end up fracturing or cracking the wire itself because you're going from like extreme heat to very, very cold, just like that. And don't forget, you've ex the coil will expand under the heat. 
and then also when you put it into the cold water it's going to frack you will end up fracking the coils eventually if you've got a good set of coils in there so always use warm water okay and that's it for me vape 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 joy there's only vape as you can see that's what the device is called and the only people I know you can get this from right now is PNS wholesalers in Birmingham so for all you retailers shoppers you need to get this in for the customers right now perfect little device for cleaning your coils this is moonshine vapor out um, I've got a juice review coming up a bit later on in the evening as soon as I clear this all away and cotton that baby up I'll be back a bit later on with a juice review so this is moonshine vapor out like Comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the other side.